The fly we're going to tie today is an elk hair caddis. This is brought to you by the Kennebec Valley Fly Tires and sponsored by the Kennebec Valley Chapter of Trout Unlimited. The materials for this fly are pretty simple. You need to have uh, elk hair or deer hair. You need to have some sort of dry fly quality hackle. These are saddle hackles here. You need to have some dubbing. This is an Antron Hair's Ear blend thread of your color choice to match the body color, copper or gold wire, and uh, a good pair of scissors. You've got those materials handy. You uh, gather them together and we can get started tying this uh, elk hair caddis. What you want to do is uh, mount the hook and device and then uh, start your thread about two eye sizes back from the eye and get yourself a uh, length of the copper or gold wire that you're going to use for the ribbing material. Fasten that to the hook, draw in the excess material, and I like to pull the uh, wire down and behind the hook while I'm wrapping like this. It helps me keep the wire centered on the bottom of the hook. I wrap back towards the middle so I can get uh, started with the dubbing. really takes very little dubbing uh, to, uh, to get this fly uh, body shaped and colored the way you want it. You can see I'm holding the dubbing in my uh, right hand with my bobbin and then grabbing the, uh, the dubbing in my left hand. Very little dubbing. Just a little bit to rub around here and you rub always in the same direction. It's rolling the dubbing material around the thread. You aren't going back and forth, it's just put it against the thread, push a little bit, put your thumb on there and roll and then release and then roll in the same direction again and you'll get that dubbing material to spin right around that thread. You use the excess uh, thread that doesn't have any dubbing on it to wrap back to the bend of the hook and then start wrapping your uh, dubbing material forward. If you run out, you've got it right there in your thread hand. Just uh, grab a pinch more, put it on, and keep going, wrapping towards the front. This body, if, if there's any taper at all to it, it should taper from the back towards the front. It uh, should be thicker in the rear like a normal caddis fly is, and then taper towards the head. You can see here I've stopped about uh, two eye sizes back from the eye. And that's about the distance back that you want to be to set your uh, wing. Check that again. One, uh, maybe one and a half. One and a half, two eye sizes back, you're in good shape. Having established this point, we're going to take uh, here, i got a saddle hackle. And you certainly could use a, a neck hackle. Uh, these saddle hackles are just handy to work with. But... Uh, Neck hackles work equally well. Uh, both will have a shiny or a dull side, and we want to mount this hackle with the uh, shiny side towards the front. It's going to come in from the back side of the hook with this hackle. Make a wrap over it, spread it, and make another wrap crossing it. And that way uh, the hackle is mounted sticking straight out from the hook. And that allows me to then reach in here with my thumbnail and bend that uh, stem over and make a couple wraps locking it in. I know it won't pull out of there now. I can move my thread to uh, the forward position wrapping up towards the eye and trim off that hackle stem. Okay, and with that trimmed off, Time to start wrapping this hackle and uh, make one or two wraps that are fairly close together and then spread these wraps out, palmering the hackle, uh, they call it. Palmer this back to the bend of the hook where you've got that gold or copper wire that you used waiting. And holding that feather up and to the rear, grab your copper wire and come up and trap the feather effectively tying the feather off. You see as you just come up, you got the feather here, you bring the copper or gold wire up, trap it, and you can let go of that feather 
Now you can wrap the uh, copper wire as the rib material forward towards the eye. You want to make sure you wiggle this wire as you're wrapping forward so you don't trap a lot of uh, hackle fires, fibers down. Get up here to the front. Pinch those fibers back to get them out of the way. Wrap back and trap that wire. And you can come up underneath here and just trap it with the thread. One or two wraps. And you can reach in and twist and helicopter it off. And you're pretty well done this fly. Got uh, the body done, the hackle wrapped, the rib wrapped. Got to trim that tail off in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll set a wing. Now at the end of this, uh, you will see there are some notes showing how to do the wing and the body. And it will give you more detail on things like wrap and hackle and uh, dubbing the body and, and setting the wing. And uh, so hang on if you want to see more detail on that when you get to the end. And uh, you'll see those clips come on. Now I've got the, the uh, elk here that I'm using. This is bleached elk hair and I've cleaned the butt ends out. Stroke, uh, stroked that with a, or combed it with a, a, a bone cone and got that nice and clean and now I've stacked the material in a hair stacker so that the ends and tips are nice and even. And I'll size that uh, hair against the body. That's too long. And that's too short. And that looks about right. With that about right, I'll pinch this material in my left thumb and forefinger here and trim off the ends. And then come back and place this wing in lining the uh, ends up with the eye. Now spin my bobbin to the right so that when it when I pick it up and come over with my thread the thread will push back against my thumb and forefinger uh, like that there we go and I'll seat this with one kind of a good firm tug and then make another wrap holding tightly with my left hand so this hair doesn't spin and you notice I, I'm not holding it at, at an angle out to the side. I, I'm pulling straight down. That's why you see me tip my bobbin earlier there. And I'm making five or six wraps of thread here. And it's very important to use the same color thread as you do uh, dubbing material. Because when these flies are in the box, all you can see is the wing on top. You can't tell what the body material is. But if you use the same color thread as you do body material, uh, you can tell without having to take these flies out of the, the out of the uh, uh, fly box. You can tell what color the body is. And with that done, we just tie this off, and you'll see the uh, end result of this. The way the wing is set, and I talk more about it in the notes coming right up. The way the wing is set when I rotate this. The wing comes down on both sides of the hook. It adds to the stability of the fly and uh, looks more like a real caddis in that a uh, caddis wing uh, setup does cause the wings to tent over the caddis body and uh, tying the wing on the way it was tied out here does in do indeed do that. It envelops the whole body. So there you have it. There's an elk hair caddis brought to you by Kennebec Valley Fly Tires. Stay tuned for a few notes here. <clears throat> now this is one way to mount a wing. You can just uh, wrap a uh, circle of thread around the wing material and then there we go, lower that down onto the hook and uh, tighten down. And that certainly does keep the hair centered and up on top of the hook. 
but it won't it won't allow the hair to envelop the body and won't and because of that you won't have the stability uh, that you normally would and it's not quite as realistic you see when i turn this up to the side here that the hair doesn't really come down around the hook at all it stayed up on top as you would expect it to now on this one you see how i just tipped the hair see i tip it right towards me i'll bring the thread up spin that bobbin so the thread will come back against my thumb and forefinger and as i make this first wrap and pull it tight i let that hair ride around a little bit i'll move back for the second one and let it ride a little more and now i'm going to grab that hair real tightly the wing and hold it in place while i make these other five or six wraps and that that ends up with a wing that starts on the close side and wraps all the way around now the thread and the and the uh, body material you want to make sure you use the same color thread as you do body material you can see as i rotate these it was easy to see that one was olive and this one is a tan body but when it comes back up the only way to tell what color the body is is to look at the color of the thread and uh, that that will be a good tip for you and something for you to uh, to uh, concentrate on and try to remember hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching